Hi, um, I've been playing with Logseek lately um, and uh, been hacking on it a little bit today and I think I've gotten far enough that I've found a bug and I have a PR, although it's not uh, good enough to be able to be uh, merged, um, but it should be a good suggestion to how we can fix this. So it's kind of a fun problem. I thought I'd just walk through it. So. Uh, one of the things I was really excited about in Rome, um, which never really lived up to its potential, was attributes, which were these kind of typed um, kind of key values that could be attached um, to a block or even, um, as suggested by the Rome white paper, to a page. Um, however, in Rome, these never actually had any powers other than just being normal links. Um, and uh, and then having some kind of typographical, um, you know, bold and stuff that was kind of looked nice. Um, but and so, for example, what I'd like to do is to tag a page of notes about, let's say, a paper uh, with some metadata like the type might be paper, uh, the author might be something, the field might be something. And then if I was querying for uh, some content in that page, I should be able to uh, say, hey, I only want results from pages that are academic papers, or I on only want um, results from pages that are in the field of design. Um, and the only way you would be able to do this in Rome would be to have these tags on the f on a bullet and then indent the entire contents of the page underneath that bullet to have them inherit the tags. And that just seemed really silly to me. Uh, so in Logseek, you do have attributes that are actually more powerful. Um, you have block attributes and you have page attributes. So the first block on a page, um, the attributes here are um, applied to the whole page. So for example here, and we can call these any, anything. Here I call them a type A. It could be you know author, and these are just colon, colon. So either way, here we have two pages. We have a test page with a type of A1 and a journal page. It's just a normal page of a type A. Now what I want to be able to do, and then I have some stuff nested here under the tag A. And by the way, the fact that this is A, this is A, these are, that has no connection. Um, just the first letter in the alphabet, I guess. So what I want to be able to do is to say, I want to find all the A's on pages of type A and not on pages of type A1, right? And so the way I should be able to write that query is I want and page property type A, and I want the A's. Okay, now the problem with that is, as you see, I get both of these pages, even though one of them has type A1. Um, now, if I only look for page property, this seems to work. So here I only get de December 28th and A1, I only get test, so that works perfectly. It's when you mix um, blocks and page, um, page uh, queries that it doesn't seem to work. The and uh, becomes an or, and that's not what I want. So I asked on Twitter, I asked on Discord, um, nobody responded. I didn't know if this was um, the way it was supposed to be, if I had misspelled the query or what was going on. But the cool thing about Logseek is that it's open source, so I figured I could dive into the code and see, try to figure out what was going on. Now, of course, the query um, DSL, the main specific language, is, you know, it's pretty funky code to write. Um, so I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to figure it out, but I thought it'd be fun to look at it. And then if I, so if I pull up the logseq code, um, there's like a ton of stuff. And so even at first, you're just trying to figure out how to navigate. Um, there's many different ways in which this could be um, you know, divided across files and, and, and stuff like that. But just doing some searching, you know, I found the query underscore DSL file, which seemed to be a good place to start. Um, and here it even lists the kind of stuff that you can do. And by the way, at the bottom, it lists examples here of, you know, um, exactly what I want to do. So, and page property foobar hello, right? So this clearly should be something that you can do. And then I'm going in here and, and this is, you know, 
this is again as I, as I mentioned like this is really dense um, closure code so this is to be fair code that I could have never written I could have never created this from scratch um, but when it's there and I am able to play with it um, I might be able to figure out what's going on so what's happening here is that it takes the input that I'm generating through this DSL and it does you know some analysis um, and it generates a data log query that it then hands off to the data script engine I'm supposing um, to run so it doesn't actually do any looking through indices and combining and stuff itself it, it just goes it translates basically from one DSL to another that's not the only way to do it um, I don't think that's the way Rome does it but um, you know there yeah there's different ways of, of, of doing it how much are you offloading to the data script engine how much are you kind of doing manually but in this case um, the problem might then be in that translation and I spent a bunch of time looking at this uh, I'm putting some debug statements but it turns out actually the built-in um, the log seek app already comes with some debugging so if I just open the control panel here you already see that it says use the following to debug your data log queries like well wow, super helpful so what's going on here uh, well this one's super easy because I'm just asking for page property so if you haven't seen data log before this is probably kind of weird but basically so here it just says get all the information pull p everything where this is the where clause right and basically so the so the block name of p uh, and the block properties prop so it gets the props and then it gets the the type where the type is let's see get prop type yeah so it gets the prop type because I asked for type and then it checks if it either equals a1 or contains a1 it's kind of interesting that it asks for it containing but that might be because if there's multiple right so if I put a2 here like this it should still pop up but if I put a11 it should not right so it's 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 a it's a it's an array and it can look for anything in that array so here now if I put a3 it should still pop up yeah okay but if I'm now doing it a little bit more complicated so I, I'm doing an and and I'm adding this um, a if I'm balancing my parentheses there okay so now something more complex is happening here so first of all it's not I don't know why but it's not oh I, I know why actually it's not getting the star it's not getting everything it's actually listing out all of the fields that it wants to get and the reason it's doing this is because it also wants to get the page and it wants to get a few fields from the page as well um, so that it can display you know the title here um, and it wants to know the parent as well and then but really the thing that we care about is the where clause so again it's doing this thing with so the way um, you know um, data log queries work is that it's trying to unify so it's trying to basically make all of these statements true and so the, the, the question mark P here always has to be the same P so the P that has the block property of this and this and this and here's the tricky part because here's there's a B and it says well the block path ref has to block be a block name a now I'm gonna show you if I put you know I could put something like um, and a B let's let's put and a B so it's a nested kind of thing of course that won't work let's see um, huh funny how that didn't work first um, so here I'm saying I want the A and I want the B and how that looks is it says well 
you know, the, the B should be pointing at a block that has the block name A in the, in the path ref, and it should be the same block should have the block name B. And so the only block that satisfies both of those conditions is this one that has the A and the B, right? So the problem here, and the reason why this is an OR instead of an AND, is that um, there's a P, and that's where we're looking for. So that's the page. So we're looking for a page that has um, this props. And then we're looking for a block that has these, um, these uh, conditions. But there is no unification between the page and the block. So in other mean, and, and in the end, what we're pulling is the block. So the, it says, hey, let's see what the block, what, what we're saying about block, we're saying this, we're saying this. Okay, we're saying something about a page, but we're never pulling that page. There doesn't seem to be any connection between the page and the block. So, you know, really, we don't really need to worry about that. Um, that seems to be a problem. So what if we add a unification between the page and the block? And we say, in addition, this block needs to be on this page. So that's what I did. And the problem is, okay, uh, the first thing I did was just take this um, query and then add what I did here is really simple. I say, okay, this, the block needs to be on the page P, right? So this little thing here provides the link between the block and the page. And then you can actually run data, um, data script queries on the console. So if I now put this here, um, I'll see here that I get this is just because it's a path. Um, basically, I get the, the C and the C. And what does this look like if I take away that last unification? So this is what would have been generated by LogSeq. You see, I get three hits. Um, I get the C. And then I also get... See the pay the 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 hit on the page t test which I don't want. So, okay, now I figured out how to fix the output, but how to generate that output. Um, and the tricky part is where here do you insert that and do you insert it conditionally? Um, and the way I did it for now, uh, which is definitely not the final solution. Because the problem with this code is that it's also recursive, so that you can have nested ands and ors, and it can get pretty complex. Um, and I just did something hacky, where I just look at um, page property. So this is what it does for page property. Um, it inserts this text, and I just added this here. So um, we can look at how that works. This is my local running version of lo LogSeq, right? So here again, you have a page, another page. You have uh, type A, type A1. Okay. So here we're saying, I want page property type A1, and I want the A. This A or this A. And what we're seeing is that we get only the A here with the type A1. Conversely, if we change here the page property type to A, I get only actually both of these two A's because they're both on this page, which is exactly what I wanted. So that makes me happy. And in fact, uh, I was curious what would happen if I only have the page property because it's going to try to do the unification with a block because I didn't put a conditional. But turns out it still works because it just says, hey, I'm going to unify with this block, there's no block, okay, we're fine. Um, it's, it's always true. And we can look here. Um, there's a lot of stuff here because this is kind of developer mode. But let's see. Okay, let me try to just render this again. So here we see, so the, in the simple case, it does add this at the end, but yeah, that doesn't matter. Um, either way. So I think this is, that is not what I wanted. That is 
what I wanted. Yeah. So basically, this is um, one way of solving it. And we can look at my git diff. Um, there's a lot of debug statements that are just me trying to figure out what's going on. Um, the key line is really just this one. This is just debug, debug, debug. Um, so I'm going to make a PR with this, um, but explaining that I don't expect this to be merged as is because this is a this is a kind of a hacky way of doing it. Uh, it won't work for all cases. It might not work if there's an or, um, if there's nested and statements and so on. So there needs to be a better way to do this. But I hope that this kind of investigation uh, helps the devs kind of narrow in on on. Uh, the issue and uh, hopefully we can get this resolved because this is a really powerful feature. Uh, it would be really awesome to have it fixed. Um, in the meantime, if I'm desperate, I can always use my local fork, which is cool and it feels really empowering to be able to go in and you know understand better how things are working and even fix things. Thank you. <laughs>